Hi, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Laura. Hi, hello, welcome. Today we are going to do update one. It's the first update in the Roulette Pan Club round eight. If you're new to this project, I highly recommend you check out the creators of this, which are Rebecca and Alexi. I will link them both down in the description box below. They are amazing content creators and they thought of this project. Um, if you are unfamiliar, just a brief rundown of what this is. This is a roulette style, so a randomly generated um, project pan where you don't really know what prompts or items you're going to pull until you roll the number, look at the prompt, and then decipher what you want and how you want to interpret that prompt. So there was an old spreadsheet that they had of 50 items. And then um, at the end of round seven, they like were asking everyone, or maybe it was the end of round six, they were asking people for recommendations on new prompt ideas. So a bunch of people submitted some ideas and a 100 item list was created, which is really fun. So I am working on a culmination of both um, the original 50, which are on the very bottom of my list, and then the new 100, which are in the top portion of my list. So last um, in the intro, we rolled predominantly items from the new list, but we did roll one item from the old list. So without really getting too too into it, I'm just going to talk about the items and then we will talk if I'm rolling anything out and rolling anything in. So sorry, I'm going to look at my laptop that has all of the prompts on it and then like tallies and stuff. If you're new to my project pans also, I always have tallies in the top portion of the screen. That way I don't have to spew them and it just, it's easier for you to like listen to. It's not a super long video. Plus it's easier for me, especially when I'm on a time constraint like today, we are going house hunting today. So I'm very excited. We're going to go look at three houses. So the first item is a product that makes you feel like an artist. And that was a little difficult for me to think of an item. Um, Long story short, I ended up picking these P. Louise bases because they kind of remind me of paint and paint obviously reminds me of an artist. So I use these basic, um, basic brights eye bases. So I have the Rude Boy Red, OTT Orange, Ah, uh, yes, I yellow and bang and blue. I my goal was to use each of these four times, and I actually did use each of them four times um, for the update. I actually used these two, the red one and the blue one, six times or five times, excuse me. So altogether, I reached for each of them two to four times for these ones, and then five times for these ones. I'm really excited. That means this goal was met, which is awesome. I didn't actually think I was going to do the goal that quickly. I thought this was going to take me a lot longer, but I really did enjoy using these with my pan those eyeshadows as my eye bases. So it was a lot of fun to pull these and use these. It makes me like inspired to actually use these. Okay, so the bases. Um, this is them. I've just put little dots because all you need is a tiny bit of these. So let me just... Yeah, they're really pretty. The yellow one does need a lot more product than the other ones, but they're gorgeous products. So I'm not unhappy about them. And I've been mixing them with a white foundation that I bought to mix in with my foundations, clearly. But all of my foundations are like the right shade for me. So I don't have a use for the white foundation anymore. And I have two of them. It was a buy one, get one. And it was like at the time I was like, I need these white foundations to mix. I don't need them. So I've actually been mixing these and making like more pastel bases, which is actually how I prefer using these. So I do have the blue and the red on right now mixed with the white foundation. Obviously I have a bunch of eyeshadow on top of it, so you wouldn't be able to tell, but I do have those on as my base today. Next prompt was a product, uh, a favorite product. So it could be any category. Um, for me, I picked a lip stick. It's actually the lip color I'm wearing today. It's very, very autumnal in my opinion. I picked the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Mosh Pit. It is again what I'm wearing today. So that is mosh pit there. Obviously I'm wearing it too, so you can kind of get an idea. It's just a really pretty brown, like a deep brown color. My goal is to finish this. There is not a ton of product in there. That is all I have left. And if you are familiar with these, the product is a lot longer than that normally. So there's not a ton of product left, but it's, I haven't been reaching for this. I actually, I thought I was going to reach for this a lot more and I've actually been pulling for like a beat colored lip that I have, um, which is very out of character. I'm normally like a total brown nude kind of girl when it comes to this time of year, but I've really been reaching for those berry tones, which is very, very out of character for me. So who knows? I will continue to use this. I'm, I don't wear it when I wear my mask because it does transfer, but this is the matte formula 
in the lippy sticks and I really, really enjoy this formula. A skincare product, and I knew exactly what I was gonna put in for this because I don't really like this. That is my The Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. I just, I don't like it that much. It just kind of irritates my skin. I feel like now that I've been using it more, I like it a little bit more, but not, it's like I go through waves. So at the first update we, or at the intro we were here, now we're down to there. So, I mean, by the end of this project, I can see myself using this up. What I really use this for is like if I have swatches on my hands or my arms, um, like when I did my favorites in my least favorite shades in a palette, I use this to clean my hand and arms off and my fingers and stuff. Um, that's the only way I really enjoy using this. I have been making progress on it. I, I mean, I wouldn't repurchase it though. So I'm happy that it's in a project and I'm using it. Um, let me know how many more swatch videos you want because that'll be how I use this guy up. So if you want any more swatch videos, like swatching my singles, I can do that in the coming weeks. Then a product that I'm afraid to pan, and it's not that I'm afraid to pan this particular item, except for the way that it is. it is. So, so yes, I am afraid to pan this. It's a loose highlight and I'm just a little, like this thing is a big size. I mean, there's, only eight gram only there's only eight grams of product in here so i in theory i know i could go through it but it's just like loose highlights like this they just take a, a little bit longer um because you really don't need much and this shade i'm so lit is extremely blinding i do have it on my cheeks today it's a beautiful beautiful highlight it's extremely blinding and I love that about it. So it's a gorgeous highlight. I have used this five times out of my 30 goal. So we'll truck along. Um, hopefully by next update, I will be able to roll this out. We will see on that. Then a product I haven't reached for in a while. I ended up picking my Becca Backlight Priming Filter. This was in my round seven of my project pan with the goal to get halfway and I met that goal. That's where we were at the pink line then. And now I am at that purple line. I might be actually a little bit below it just because the product kind of sits like this in there. So I know the center of it is lower. Um, Part of me was a little bit afraid to pan this up because I really love this and I didn't purchase one during the 21 Days of Beauty, which this is normally on sale, this in the first light priming filter, the purple one. But then Octoly sent me one, so I was like, I yeah, I can use this no problem. So I, I, I don't wear makeup every day now um, where I would be using this every day otherwise. So now it's more like... On days I go to the office, I don't wear foundation or anything at all, so I don't wear this then. However, on days like today when I'm filming, when I'm working from home and I can like put my makeup on and I'm actually going out of the house today, um, I will wear it. So maybe six times a month, maybe 10 times if we're getting generous. Um, but yeah, I don't wear makeup any day, every day anymore. And especially like even on the weeks when I'm not going into the office, I don't bother with this. On the weeks I'm going into the office, there's sure as heck no way I'm wearing that. Then the final product is a product with packaging that inspires you. And I interpreted this one so differently than I feel like most people would interpret it. So I picked a magnetic empty palette and this one in particular happens to hold my um, Urban Decay Heavy Metals palette. So if you are familiar with um, my channel, if you've been around here for a little while now, you would know that every month if I pull a single shadow in my pan those eyeshadows, I typically create like a nine pan palette and that is what helps me feel inspired with my collection, which is kind of why I went with something like this. Now, I didn't have like a usage goal. I, well, I had, I had a goal, but it wasn't like hit pan in a certain amount of shades. It wasn't like use each shade uh, or use this as a whole X amount of times. It was use each shade once in one singular look. Um, and I did actually manage to do that this month, which I'm very surprised. Now, there were times where I would double up, like if I used this red and something else, I only counted using like the red or the different shade. Does that, I hope that makes sense. So if I had a, a um, color story that used the silver and the red, for instance, one use was the silver and if I did the same look one use was the red I hope that makes sense I ended up doing that um if I took pictures of my looks I'll have them kind of floating around the screen so you can see um the different looks that I made 
this month. Okay, so we have um, numbers 1 to 115. So, and the way that I have it is items 1 to 95 are the new list in items 96 to 115. Those are going to be the old list. So I'm just going, I'm not going to shake it because I feel like it generates too many numbers and it stresses me out. So the first number is 51. 91. Okay, though I only had two. I was about to go like buck wild and just do a bunch. So I'm gonna be right back. I'm, gonna, I'm it's gonna take me a while. So I will be right back. The lighting might look different because I don't know how long this is gonna take me. So I'll be right back. Okay, the good thing about being on a time crunch is the fact that I have to like just first thing that's in my mind. I need to just like really grab that and go. Um I I'm a little nervous about the items that I picked because I'm not 100% sure. Like one definitely fits the prompt and I, that's good for it. But the other one, I don't know what I should make the goal. So maybe you guys can help me understand like what goal I should pick for this. Uh, so let's start with the um, prompt number 51, which was prompt number 53 on the new newer 100 list. And that's a product that I'm indifferent about. And that is going to be this Versed Just Breathe Clarifying Serum. Now, I don't think that there's too much in here, but I kind of just either forget to use it or just don't really think that it does anything. I, I have no idea where it is in here. Maybe down to here. Like there's not that much left, but I never reach for it like I, I reached for it a lot when I first got it and just realized like it doesn't really do anything so I just kind of was like stopped using it I actually did an Instagram post on disappointing skincare products and this was one of them because I don't think it does anything I'm just kind of like it's there like it's fine we'll we'll finish that that's that's the goal for that one which I have no problem with um the thing that I'm like I don't know. That is a inexpensive product that performs like high end and I freaking love this thing. I, I hold it in my trash it and cash it at the end of September and I have not been able to stop talking about it. That is my NYX Filler Instinct Plumping Lip Balm. This is a tinted lip balm um, that, I mean, is has a plumping sensation. So then interesting thing about this plumper is that it doesn't have that minty tingle that so many plumping products do have this has more of like a cinnamon like it's spicy kind of tingle which i really like but this has such an interesting like tingle to it it's not like anything i've experienced before with a plumping product and i have no idea what to make the goal so i've used it enough where it's it was slightly above the packaging and now it's just basically flush um yeah, that is how much product we have in there. So not a ton. This is a nice one to roll into because I can wear this under the mask and it's not gonna like transfer because it's very sheer. Maybe I should give you a swatch. So it's over here. Really, really nice. It has no discerning scent to it, which is good. Um, Not sure what the what the goal should be. I want it to be like challenging enough, but also like achievable in like the three months we have left with this. So let me know what your thoughts are on a goal. I was thinking personally, maybe just using like half a gram up. I don't know how quickly that would happen. Um, yeah, let me know if you think doing like a half gram usage. There's 2.6 grams in here, just using 0.5 grams and then just being able to roll it out. I think that's achievable if I reach for this every day, which I've really been enjoying my Becca Hydra Lip One Two or Hydra, Hydra Light Lip Balm. So let me know what you think the goal should be on this one because if I don't hear anyone saying anything, I'm just gonna do like half a gram usage and that that will be that for this guy. But yeah, that is it. Um. I honestly don't know if I'm going to have anything rolled out next update, which is kind of a bummer. Maybe if I just like obsessively use this guy every night, um, we could roll that out potentially. Maybe, maybe if I do like heavy swatch videos, I could roll this guy out. Um, let me know if you would be interested in seeing like swatches of the single shadows in my collection that way I could use this guy up. Um, maybe... Probably not, but maybe I could get this one used up. Everything else, I, I don't think the goal will be met. So it's like, want want. I, I did challenging um, goals. Shame on me. 
But that is it. That is absolutely everything in this video. I hope you guys are staying healthy, staying sane, and staying safe. And I will catch you on Sunday's video. Bye! Hey!